Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks for checking out Dotex Solutions. Um, in this series, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to perform system administration tasks on Ubuntu Server 2204. Um, we're going to look at installation. We're going to look at performing some high level system administration tasks. Um, this course is designed for anybody who is not familiar with um, Ubuntu or maybe you might have um, experience using a, an older version of it and you just want to see what are the new changes to Ubuntu 22, uh, Ubuntu Server 2204. Uh, I'm going to make this course as beginner friendly as possible so anybody who is not familiar with um, Ubuntu will be, find it really easy to follow along. Um, if at any stage of uh, this series you have um, any questions, please don't hesitate to leave that in the comment section and I will be more than happy to help you and to respond to those. thing you want to do is to download the um, ISO image for Ubuntu Server 2204. Um, to do that you can just open Google and go in and you should search for um, Ubuntu Server 2204 download. Now this is going to bring you up in this, uh, this page right here. Just click on it and you're going to see this one select uh, option two, so manual server installation. And then you go ahead and you click on this button. Now I already downloaded this uh, ISO image, so I'm not gonna be doing that right now. And I already have it inside my uh, Proxmox um, server. Uh, for those of you who are uh, probably gonna be doing this with uh, VirtualBox, I'm gonna make a separate video on how to perform this um, uh, installation on VirtualBox. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is we're going to go ahead and create a virtual machine and then provide it, give it a name. So, Ubuntu Server 2204. Don't want the name to have any spaces in between it. Alright, so I'm going to be selecting my storage repo where I have my um, server stored. It's going to be Ubuntu 22 for my server. This is what we want. Uh, Linux. So, if this was a Windows system that I wanted to install, I would have changed this to Windows, but this is a Linux. And so, the, the OS type is correct and uh, the kernel version is also correct. So, I'm going to go ahead and click next. Next, now I don't want to store my VM disk in there, I want to store it on the VM images. And I want the hard drive size to be 50 gigs. I'm going to go next, uh, CPU, I'm going to give it two sockets and two cores. And go to next, um, RAM, I think two gigabytes is just, it's okay. Network, I'm not going to change anything here for the next and then uh, finish. So I'm going to confirm that. Let's look for it. All right, so now our uh, Ubuntu server has been created. Remember that it has not been installed yet. We've just created a virtual machine and now we're going to go ahead and start the installation process. All right, so when you when you come into this me uh, menu right here, just go ahead and press enter and it's going to load us into um, the live server. Now remember this is Ubuntu server. So we're not going to be doing anything with uh, the graphical user interface. All right. Um, we're going to be doing a, a, a bare minimum installation and we don't, we don't actually need uh, the graphical user interface to do anything on the server. So we're going to
Alright, so now that our server has been loaded, um, now we're ready to start our installation. The very first thing they're going to ask us is to select our preferred language. I'm going to be going ahead and choosing um, English, but if you um, if your preferred language is something else, then you're just going to go ahead and select that from here. So press enter. And then they're going to ask you to probably update um, uh, the, install the, uh, the installer so they have a new one. So I'm going to go ahead and, and, and select uh, continue without updating. We don't really need that. Uh, select keyboard. Um, so far, I prefer the English US um, keyboard layout. So I'm going to go ahead and click on done. Uh, they're going to talk about. Um, you know the kind of installation that we want now there are two types we have the ubuntu server which is like a full server and then we have a minimalized one that kind of has like the bare minimum of what you need for a server and this is the the, uh, the 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 minimized um server kind of it, it has with like it, it, it it's not going to be as heavy as the full server so there's a lot of packages that are excluded from that server well, for the, at this stage, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going, um, we're going to do the Ubuntu server installation. So we're going to go ahead and click done on that. Now it's going to load our uh, internet, uh, our network inter interface card, and it already gave us, it already um, um, requested an, an IP address from um, my DHCP server. So I'm going to go ahead and click done on that. But if I wanted to um, specify um, static IP address information I could have just gone ahead and it do that right here but I'm gonna be going ahead with this um, proxy address I don't have a proxy on my, on my home so I'm not gonna do that uh, mirror address so we, we, we can go ahead with this um, um, official Ubuntu mirrors um, now sometimes the mirrors will be uh, I think the, this this mirror is actually change based on your own based on your location because you may have a mirror that is closer to you that is not uh, the US mirror, so you can you can also change that. But uh, we can go ahead and do um, and select that as well. Um, now we have the option to choose if we want to maybe partition um, our our hard drive or if we want to use the entire thing. Now, if you wanted to partition, you're going to go ahead and click on um, and select a custom storage layout, and then you can basically cut you know partition it the, the way you want it. But I'm going to go ahead and, 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 and use the entire disk. And so, go down. Uh, and to navigate, and to go down here, you use the tap key and on your keyboard, and that will navigate you down. And click on done. Um, so, here, the system is basically going to clear, uh, um, um, uh, install and configure. Uh, a, a volume manager called logical volume manager so FVM and it's going to set our um, our hard drive on that volume manager now one advantage about lo logical volume manager is that it makes your hard drive expandable so let's say you know right now we have the server on 50 gigs and let's say later on down the road we uh, basically installed a bunch of applications and then the then we're running out of 50 gigs right so what the system is going to do is we can add we can add another disk and then use that space and attach it to the volume group that we have on the on, on this on the server and then that volume group will expand using the amount of space that we've added to it and then we can now use that added space to attach it to the logical volume that needs um, additional space so it makes your your, your 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 storage you know expandable which is really really good so i'm going to go ahead and click done um are you ready to, to install go ahead and say yes now they're going to ask for your name that's my name server name uh one two 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 four four pick a username password password again click on tab and then click on done yes you want to install uh, open uh, ssh server um, click on tab uh, 
done. And continue. All right, so at this page, um, if you were building this server to use it for a specific uh, thing, so for example, if you wanted to install something like Nextcloud on it, or you wanted to install Docker on it, whatever software package that, let's say, you were, whatever use case that you wanted to um, um, use the server for, um, this page actually presents us with a lot of um, pre-configured um, environments where it, it, it makes it really easy for us to just build um, the server and it, it already comes with that software package that we really need. So in, for example, if we were to build, uh, if we were to use the server for uh, for Docker, then we can go to, we, can, we could have gone ahead and just select Docker right here and the system will just build itself and configure Docker for us so that by the time the server is ready, we are ready to just start working with Docker. But right now, we're not gonna be selecting any of the software packages here. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and skip. So we press tab and then press done. And now our installation is gonna start. Uh, this installation process is probably gonna take like 10 to 15 minutes. Um, I'm gonna pause the video and I'll be back when the installation is complete. All right, so our installation is complete and our server has been updated. So we're gonna go ahead and reboot. So press tab and then press enter. Now at this point, we're gonna need to detach the, uh, um, the CD drive so that the system is in load from the hard drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on CD drive and I'll click on remove, press enter. And then we should go back to console. and press enter.
Alright guys, so we're gonna go ahead and, and log in. You're gonna log in with the username and password that uh, you created when uh, you were doing the installation. Alright, so there you have it. We have our Ubuntu Server 2204 uh, installation complete. We're able to log into the system. And yeah, now we're ready to start um, learning about Ubuntu and how to do some really high level system administration tasks on Ubuntu. I'm going to go ahead and stop this video here. In my next video, which should be uploaded probably by now, depending on what time you're watching this video, um, we're going to go over um, performing like um, the first stages of uh, configuring the server, so setting up a host name, IP address, uh, configuring time. Uh, we're going to see how to set up and, and, and look at uh, a bunch of uh, different things about the Linux operating system. All right, so, all right, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.